Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another one, another vlog. It is Monday, so we're gonna do a Monday, Tuesday vlog. And um, it's been a chill morning. I just caught up on a lot of computer stuff, had a Pilates class and finally got ready for the day. But I wasn't initially planning on starting a vlog today until my great friend, Jamie Wolfer texted me, hey, I'm gonna be in LA tomorrow, you wanna get dinner? And I was like, yes, you might know her from her channel. We've done a few collabs together and she has since moved to Texas. So I'm like, I'm starting a vlog today so that we can hang out with Jamie tonight, all of us together, cause that's fun. And then my parents are actually coming into town next week and there's a few things they'll be staying in my office so my office will be converted to a guest bedroom and there's a few things that I want to do to my office before I have like proper adults stay in it my sister stayed in it but you know these are the first adults staying in it so I actually got a new armchair and I'm gonna play around with like moving furniture around in there so that it's ideal for guests so that's gonna be our vlog I'm so excited and I am wearing a new dress <laughs> I have another little haul for you guys. I've gotten so many DMs of you guys saying that you've been loving these. So we have another one. I ordered a little summer haul from Nasty Gal and I just can't wait to show you the few things I got. This is my new favorite dress. And honestly, it looks so good with my hammock. So can't wait to show y'all. Let's go inside and I'll show you the few things that I got. Got my iced grapefruit green tea. The best. Um, okay, I am genuinely so excited for this. So I posted on Instagram on my stories. This was a while ago being like, y'all been loving the little clothing hauls lately. So what brands do you wanna see? I had a lot of people request Nasty Gal and I have never ordered summer clothes from them, but I do have winter clothes from them. I actually just pulled this from my closet. This is a dress. You've probably seen me post this on Instagram so many times. I bought this in 2016. I follow new darlings on Instagram and she tagged it in an Instagram story in 2016. So I bought it and I have kept it for five years and worn it to weddings. I've worn it to New Year's Eve parties. Like it's been one of my favorite dresses and it's Nasty Gal. And so I'm really excited to show you some of the things that I got for summer. A lot of dresses. I love dresses and sets. And I actually get to partner with Nasty Gal on this video. Meaning that everything that is linked down below will help to support my channel. I have loved getting to do these lately, y'all. So thank you for being so excited with me about all these little fun things. Um, okay, first, I got this dress in two colors, the one I'm wearing right now, because as soon as I saw it online, I was like, this is the dress. The square neckline, the little ruffle sleeved, and then like the baby doll silhouette. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. So I got it in this gorgeous like light Tiffany blue teal color. And I got it in another color that I will show you in a second. But this is my favorite, which is why I'm wearing it today. <laughs> and then this dress is so fun. Okay, I also just want to say that I am so impressed with the quality of all of these things. They just feel really nice and durable. And I knew that it would stand up to the test of time since I've worn my winter dress for five years, but I just kind of forgot how, how great it is. And so when I was unboxing all these things, I was like, yes. This is a kind of maxi, like a mid-axi black linen-y dress. And it has these really cute crisscross straps in the back. You can never go wrong with a black dress to any type of event you're going to. Guys, I got a set and it is so much fun. It is also in a very similar color to this dress, but it has this tiered, super high-waisted skirt, which if you watch previous clothing hauls, you know I like seek out this silhouette of skirt, but it has a matching cropped poof sleeve top. I'm really excited about this one. I feel like it's a fun, flirty summertime outfit. And then a couple tops and shorts. Let me zip this back up. You know, sometimes you have like statement shorts or statement pants or statement skirt and you want like a simple, fun, tight shirt to go with it. I found this little cropped shirt and it comes to like a little bit of a point in the front, but it is so handy because it has built-in cups that are very, very comfortable. So you don't have to wear a bra with this or figure out what type of bra you want to wear, but it's still very supportive, has great coverage. So I thought this was just a really good little investment piece. I've been on the hunt for some good tan linen-y shorts. And these are the softest of all the linen-y shorts I've tried. They have like a paper bag silhouette I think they're a really good length and the material just feels washed you know it feels lived in already and then a little pop of color 
I thought this was so sweet. Yet again, poo sleeve square neckline. It's my thing this season, y'all. <laughs> I thought this top was so sweet. It has like a muted pink and green floral pattern on it. So the colors are bright and modern, but the pattern feels a little vintagey, which just makes it very special in my opinion. And it has a zip back and it's so stinking cute. And then as I alluded to, I got this same dress in another color. This is technically like a tan color, but if you look really, really closely, there's almost a little bit of a shimmer. The lining has a shimmer to it for sure, but not in an overwhelming way. So to me, it just looks yet again, like a classic linen. Oh, these are so fun. I'm so excited that I have these in two colors. This is 100% me. <laughs> and then one more dress. This one's a little bit different. It also has kind of like a scoop square neckline, but I don't know if you could tell on camera. There's this like boning inside of the bodice of this dress. So it gives it a really fun structured look and then it kind of flares out a little bit more into like a traditional A-line, whereas this has more of like a smocked baby doll type silhouette. So can't go wrong. I feel stocked up on dresses. Thank you again to Nasty Gal for letting me affiliate link everything in the description and for partnering with me on this little haul. I wanna keep going, guys. These are so much fun to test out brands like in real time with you and show you the types of things that I am gravitated towards within these brands. So comment down below what other ones you would like to see and we'll just keep throwing these in every once in a while. I need to finish uploading a video and get the house in order. So maybe we can do a little satisfying cleaning montage. So many dishes in the sink, so many leftovers that need to be thrown out in the fridge and just like little things like that. So let's quickly get my life in order and then we'll move on to more fun things like picking up Jamie tonight. So I wanted to stay in my cute little dress all night because it's so stinking comfy, but I checked the weather in West Hollywood. I'm like, oh wait, we're going west, so it might be a little bit cooler. And it's getting into the low 60s tonight. So opted for an outfit with pants. So I paired my cute little new crop top with some high-waisted black raw edge hem jeans. I specifically went for some stretchy ones <laughs> since I'll be sitting in traffic and then sitting at a restaurant. And then just some little like sandal heels and I feel like it's a really cute look together so this is my little outfit of the day and I'm gonna head on out and go pick up Jamie I'm so excited I am outside Jamie's hotel a little early as always because I'm chronically early to everything um, so I'm not gonna text her that I'm early until it's time but I was like it's been a while since a car thought maybe it's time for us to do a car thought and then I was like What's even a good car thought I feel like I haven't had any good thoughts lately and then I was like the only thing I've thought today I tweeted and it was the fact that I did not know. I guess I've never really been around kids, except for when I was a kid. And living in Pasadena, I'm finally around kids for the first time, like on either side of us. Kids just scream, like randomly, often. And that's something I didn't really know about kids. Is that normal? Is that all kids? If you have kids, comment down below. I was like, wow, was I just a, I think I was a boring kid. I, okay, here's a real car thought. I was the kid that did not want to play with the other kids. Instead, I would want to sit with whatever adults were there and talk, because I just wanted to talk, I didn't want to play. And my mom always tells this story. My preschool teachers were named Miss Jenny Lou and Miss Becca. And every day my mom would pick me up from preschool and say, what'd you do today? What'd you do on the playground? And I'd say, I just talked to Miss Jenny Lou and Miss Becca, because I didn't want to play with the other kids. Am I the worst? Am I just like the most boring child? Probably. 
Anyways. <laughs> Guys, look who it is! Oh. Wow. <laughs> we're both really squeaky! We're so squeaky! <laughs> and we're also officially 18 minutes early to our reservation because yeah. I thought parking would be really hard. And it was really easy. It was, like, right on the block. I also was at your hotel early, and they already know that. Oh, because I, I was, was just like sitting inside, not doing anything, <laughs> because I I showed up at the hotel like way earlier than I thought. Really? I walked around. I was like, I've got nothing to do, but like you've got eighty two things going on, so I wasn't gonna text you. <laughs> not today. <laughs> so we're both just sitting Did there not notice? doing anything. <laughs> Did you notice I texted you seven o'clock on the dot? Yes, I was like, wow, timely. Of course, Mikkel would be like, no, oh, it's because I was early. <laughs> you were watching your <laughs> and phone. I was just staring at my phone until it was seven o'clock. I was like, okay, I can text Jamie that I'm here now. <laughs> I'm allowed. I'm allowed. We're also a little intimidated by this restaurant because they texted me an hour ago saying, you are due to EP and LP in an hour. Like being called to the principal's office. Mm -hmm. And they took my credit card information to book the reservation. So I feel like they like they have a threat to make. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Right. I, like, But I also think if we're going to show up early, mm -hmm. We get extra credit, therefore a discount on our meal. At least free apps. At least free apps. At least a free app. Like, we're not asking a lot. No, we're really not. No. no. Bare minimum. Free dessert, maybe. <laughs> we'll leave a candle it. on it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to leave my camera in the car and make sure that you guys could see Jamie, because I know most people love Jamie <laughs> more than any other human on the planet. I shouldn't laugh so aggressively at you saying that. I'm like, ah! That would just happen to be perfect that I'm in town and she's, I would say right down the road, but it was probably a, a teensy bit of a drive. But I was against traffic, so no traffic oh, the whole way boom. here. Oh, boom. Just whoosh, Then there goes shot. all of my guilt for you driving yeah. to pick me up. No guilt. No <laughs> guilt. And perfect. way better food over here anyways. Nice. It's the next day. Last night was so much fun. We went to a restaurant I've never been to before called EP and LP. Oh, they're mostly known for their rooftop bar and they have movie nights and stuff at their rooftop bar, but we made a reservation at the restaurant, which is like the middle floor. It was really good food and a really good environment and obviously so much fun to hang out with Jamie. We Our dinner reservation was at 7.30, but we got there early and we didn't leave until like after 10. <laughs> I had no concept of time because we were just having a great time. I just put on like basically workout clothes to go to my chiropractic appointment. I think I'm getting cupping done. I haven't had cupping done in a while because I was out of town and then I had some campaigns I had to shoot and all these different things. So I just kept not doing it. So that'll be fun. And then when I get back from that, we're finally going to tackle my office. I think I'm getting rid of this chase. I know, I love this chase. But I basically got a armchair and an ottoman, so I'll have the feel of the chase, but I could take out the ottoman, have so much more space in here. And I thought it would also be fun if I have an armchair, like it'd be fun to get like a big floor reading lamp. So maybe we could do a little bit of shopping today, just like kind of finish out that side of the room and get it really pretty for the background of my videos and for when my parents are staying here. So that's my plan for the day. Oh my gosh, I was just now like, what shoes should I wear to my appointment? And I was like, I know what shoes I want to wear. It's the shoes I got from Nasty Gal that I forgot to show you guys. I got these from Nasty Gal and they're so cute. And basically every single person at my Pilates class has shoes in this style because it's really handy to wear your Pilates socks and then just slip these on. And so I <laughs> forgot to show you these because they were in their box and they're just so cute, like a creamy white with a buckle. These are going to be perfect to wear as like a very chill, look with my yoga pants today. Yay for that. This is not by any means a look, but just so you can see how comfy and practical these are. I fit in with all of Los Angeles now and everybody that has these. Hey, I'm home from my chiropractic appointment. I don't know if you can see, can you see? My cupping marks weren't that bad, but she was like, you should book a massage soon because you're feeling more tense than last time. So we went backwards and I was like, okay, cool. But nevertheless, so excited because um, I have the boxes of the furniture I ordered in the garage. Haven't opened them, haven't put them together yet. Can't wait to see what they look like. So it's pretty bright. Our garage is a mess. <laughs> this, I believe, is the main chair in this big box. And this, I believe, is the ottoman in this box. So I was thinking about just like pulling it out into the 
the patio area, taking it out of the box and like putting it together and assessing. This is a brand that is new to me that I found online called Albany Park. They were just very affordable, very cute. They don't have a lot of different styles, but they have a lot of different fabrics. So it kind of almost made it easier because I was kind of overwhelmed looking at all the different options online. So I felt that this one looked adorable and I'm so excited to see it in real life and test the quality. We're falling out, we have reached disaster. Don't know where we're gonna be after And we do it all again and again and again and again, again and That was again not that bad! <laughs> I was multitasking on the phone with my mom and my sister, so I wasn't like fully aware. This doesn't have the back cushions on it yet, but this is honestly like a nice size. I know I'll get questions about which one this is. I'll link it down below, but they have three different silhouettes basically in a lot of different colors of each silhouette. This is the park. So the park armchair and the park ottoman, but I'm very impressed with the quality and like how easy it was to put it together. And now I'm just so excited that I can take this, put it in Brooke's office whenever my parents come stay here. And then we have plenty of space for the air mattress. And so it will not be as cramped when guests stay here. And what I'm thinking, wouldn't it be so cool if we get like a tall lamp to come over this armchair? And I've never seen the floor over here. Look at all this floor space. Look at all of this. Like maybe I can even film things here now, which is so exciting. Brooke and I are recording our podcast at 2 p.m., but I'm gonna take my own car so that we can go shopping after and find those last little details for here to make it just the full picture. Got dressed and ready to go to the podcast studio since I have cupping marks. I put just like a little plain white tee under this dress and I think it's really cute and sweet. I need to dry shampoo my hair, but we're off to record our podcasts and then go maybe find a couple things for the office. Got all the way here and then realized that I left my computer at home. <laughs> so I'll be reading this podcast off of my phone. Who's behind me? That's new. That's new. I don't mind the Vin head. Vin Scully is a cute man. He's precious. We must protect him at all costs. I feel weird setting up without a laptop though. Show must go on. <laughs> the wrap on the podcast, that one was a lot of fun. We did a whole episode about like why dating is hard. Some of our really cringy date stories, first date stories, and then reading a lot of y'all submissions about why dating is hard. And it was really good. I'm excited for that one to come out. And I'm trying to think where I want to go look for a floor lamp. We'll find something good. Let's find it. Okay, we're on Colorado because there's Crate and Barrel and there's Pottery Barn and a couple other options too. So we have options. Lighting. Lighting is up this way. This is cool. This might be too big and I'm afraid to see. Oh, one ninety nine. That's actually less than I thought for such a big sculptural lamp, but that's really, really cool. Oh, I spy one that says final sale. Is it because it's a little cricket? Oh, this one's more expensive than the other one. Interesting. I'm getting distracted, but these woven headboards, oh, I love them so much. And I feel like they're also soft, but then allergen friendly because they're like leather, but it's not like a hard wooden headboard, you know? Like so much beautiful furniture in one small location. This looks like a cloud couch dupe. Definitely not as soft as a cloud couch, but same kind of silhouette per se. Okay, we're gonna try Pottery Barn, see if there's anything cheaper, and if not, we might just go to Target because can't go wrong there, but I'm excited to see what we find. Oh my gosh, we found so many lamps. This is these are a lot more traditional, which isn't as much my vibe. It's even more expensive here. Okay, Crate and Barrel, I see you showing up Pottery Barn. I mean, this is pretty cool, but no thank you. Five, four forty nine for that. These staircases are really cool. Just like loop throughout the whole store. Isn't that fun? I think, I think we should go to Target. I think that's gonna have the most options 
if you love blankets, <laughs> the most options and probably best, definitely best pricing. Crate and Barrel had some cute things, but it's just super limited at this location, so let's go to Target. Yay for affordable lighting options. Okay, here we go. So you know what? I kind of like the matte black ones because it will pull in my black bookshelves on the other side of the office so we have that one i think it's 75 that is great what else lots of really cool table lamps but i don't need any more of those i'm kind of leaning toward the matte black one honestly i like the idea of it like hanging over a little bit since it will be over the chair behind it in that corner I like the big swoop of the other one that we found. That's just too big of a swoop. So this is like a perfect little happy medium. Oh, and then I found peanut butter for Brooke. That was his one request. <laughs> so we're gonna get a lamp and some peanut butter. Why not? I just got very tired out of nowhere. You ever have those days where you feel like you did a lot and then you look at your to-do list and you're like, what did I even do? That's what today feels like. So in case you need to hear this message too, which I need to hear, it's okay to shift your to-do list around and not do it as quickly as you thought you had to. Like for example, I was gonna film a whole nother video tomorrow, but I'm like, you know what? I need a whole computer day. So I'm gonna push that schedule. I know that like people have bosses and things, but just other areas of life, you know? Like if you thought you were gonna do laundry and clean the kitchen today, it's okay. You could do laundry today and you can clean the kitchen tomorrow. You don't have to do it all at once, you know? It's a reminder I have to tell myself often. But, uh, oh my gosh, she's so cute. I feel like this is the type of thing that won't go out of style because it's very, very simple. But the fact that it's black matte is of course very in style right now too. So it's kind of just like a smart purchase. It does feel a little cheap, but it was a fifth of the price of some of the comparable ones that we found. So let's see what this looks like behind the chair. I'm just going to first get rid of this old lamp which I never liked. I love this lamp, but I never liked it on a dark wood table. Initially when I bought this, it went on top of like gray metal shelves. So it like warmed up a cool shelf really well, but like a warm terracotta -y color on a dark wood just isn't, it isn't the vibe. So I'm excited to get rid of this. And I think on the, honestly, for now, just do a cute candle and I'll do like a vase of flowers or something. Once I have time to go get some flowers back here. Oh, that's cool. Aha! Wow. What do y'all think? Should I put something underneath it so it's a little bit taller? Like maybe here? Let me know in the comments down below, but love, love to have warm, cozy lighting. One little quick update. Y'all know the lighting in here is so cool. I have a warm filter on my camera now, so it's not like as cool toned in here, but we bought all new lighting and we put them in and it was like terrible. It was like so yellow. So we're like, gosh, guess we're stuck with the cool tone lighting. So I just try to turn on lamps at nighttime that have like the subtle warm tone because these recessed lights come in yellow and blue. <laughs> No like normal light colors. This new little cozy corner and then more space whenever people come and visit. It feels so good. Also, a little girl complimented me on my dress at Target. She was sitting in the cart and she was like, you look beautiful in that dress today. And I was like, thank you so much. All that to say, thank you so much to Nasty Gal for letting me do a little mini haul within this vlog. I love all my pieces and I am going to catch up a little bit on my to-do list, but then just like cut myself some slack because that's what I've learned this year is most important. So I love y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Talking to you, here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all